Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. We are down here at the San Luis Obispo County Animal Shelter. Once again. Once again, and we have got cats and we have got quite a few dogs. And we have rabbits and we have uh, guinea pigs. A good variety of uh, bunnies and guinea pigs these days, so. It's a full variety. You're not, you're not just limited to going home with a cat or a dog around here. We'll send you home with a guinea pig, a, a rat, sometimes a snake, occasionally a goat, whatever we can, you know fit in your car. <laughs> we'll send you We're known with. as the best pet store in the county. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a cute little girl sitting Before on your lap. Before we talk about little girl, yes. I want to say to the folks at home that um, this is your last, well, the third last episode of Rescue Me. We have decided that we have done a full run for 18 years, Deborah, mm -hmm. on the 23rd of April. We are filming our last show. Coincidentally, the 23rd of April is when Rescue Me debuted 18 years ago, on the 23rd wow. of April. So we've come full circle. I think we've done a great deal for these animals here at the shelter, showing them to the folks at home. But now you're going to have to look at our animals at the website unless uh, we get another show going, and that's a possibility. So stay tuned for what's All going right. to happen next. And you folks at home that have been devoted fans like Irene, I know you're watching this show. Um, we really appreciate your viewership. So, now, well, here before we, go. we talk about little girl, I yes. just want to say to you and Randy, I think you guys have done an incredible thing when you started this 18 years ago. I've only been around, well, I've only known you for the last 14. Oh, gosh. Um, and yeah. I haven't, and I don't know, I've done the show, I don't know, maybe eight years or something. I can't remember. But at any rate, nothing like this existed when you two came to town and you've really raised the profile of the shelter. A lot of people don't even know that animal services existed as the county shelter. So we're here and a lot of people know that because of you and Randy. So yay to you two. Wow, thank you now, so much. Now, let's talk. Now look how good Little yes. Girl was. I had it on uh, great authority from Joan, who is our small dog expert, that this dog will sit forever. You can talk about anything you want to talk about. Well, Isn't we she just great? droned on for a really long time, and she was perfect about it. This is this little girl is named Little Girl. She's about four years old, and she's just a sweet, darling little lap dog. And she was just out there in a yard full of other little dogs, and got along just fine, including the guy putting up with the guy who was trying to hump her back there. So, what more can you ask for? That's tolerance, sweetness, and patience in a little dog named Little Girl. Her ID number is two one six. Two, three, eight. Well, this is a beautiful dog, a gorgeous German Shepherd, about five years old. His name is Duke. He just seems like an all around really nice dog. Not feeling so hot today. He had his neuter surgery um, done. So, you know, he's felt better, but um, he's a gorgeous, gorgeous dog. And he's a nice size. He's not gigantic. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful dog. You know, Look, um, Deborah, the shepherds that we've gotten in here of late have been very, very calm. And uh, and he's one of not those. Not like the usual shepherd who's a little bit skittish. Not a gorgeous. crazy, hyped up shepherd. He's no. a calm, sweet, nice, darling shepherd. Yeah, everybody needs to come and see Duke. Duke's ID number is 223040. Well, if you just want a beauty to be walking beside you, then you want to come down here and take a look at Titus because he is a gorgeous creature. One of the handsomest dogs in the shelter, I think that's safe to say. Um, he's just kind of a big, strong doof, you know? He needs, you know, he can use some training. We're working on that down here, but when he gets adopted into his new home, he should have, he should get, keep that, that training continuing. But he is a gorgeous, affectionate boy and just a really sweet dog. And half of his adoption fee has been paid. Half of his adoption fee, so that saves you more than $50. Wow. Titus's ID number is 222-685. Oh, here's a sweet little girl. Um, she's about four years old. Her name is Dobby, and her folks could no longer keep her. So unfortunately, she ended up down here at the shelter, and she's shaky and scared, but she's very sweet about it. Uh, her owner turn in paperwork says she's crate trained, um, that she's good with cats and big dogs and little dogs and kids, and she's house trained. So... 
So wow, this well, dog is a no-brainer. The only unknown is they don't know how she is with livestock and, livestock and chickens, but I'm going to guess that she'd be okay. And we have a lot of homes in the county, Denver, <laughs> that, don't, that don't have livestock really? and chickens. Yeah, no I chickens? Think, I think there's All a home right. out there for her without. Well, that's good news for you, Dobby, but she is a very sweet little girl, and she's good with the other dogs in the dog yard, so that's great. And she sits on a lap very peacefully. Uh -huh. So she is ID number 223287. This is Dobby. Well, I think we're looking at our longest residing dog in the shelter, and I don't really understand why. She's a good girl. She is sweet. She's affectionate. She does have a ton of energy so she does need to go to an active home where people are going to play with her it would be great if she went to the home you know in a home with a jogger or someone who would take her on hikes or ride or the bike with her or someone who appreciates a non-stop tail wagger I, you know there's so much that happy in that happy. tail They're and to be so that happy. happy after nearly five months in a shelter is no small feat she's just she's holding up great but sometimes she seems a little sad she is just tired of being here she wants to go play and have fun she needs her person. We love Bluebell. Oh. Her ID number <laughs> is 220927, and half of half her adoption, adoption fee is paid, is paid too. So this is like, you know, all this fun in one she's, little package. She's fun, and she's a bargain. I and mean, what more off. do you want? Okay, Bluebell, ID number 220927, scoop her up. This is Gordo, and he is special. He's our volunteer's pick of the month. He's a little antsy right now, but Gordo is a nice dog who's very uh, food-driven, so he's taking to his training very, very well. He's a young dog. He's only about a year old, um, and he's a beautiful dog. I don't know if you can tell through the camera, but he's a brindle, uh, black and brown brindle with some white on those feet. He is just so cute, and he'll get you noticed because he's also handsome. Gordo has been with us just about a month, and he's getting a little bit tired of being here. He very much wants to get out of here. So if you want to give a sweet dog a home, come on in and... <laughs> oh, look at that. He's selling himself. Come on in and meet Gordo. ID number 222798, and being volunteer's pick means that half of his adoption fee is already paid. This is Zoe. She is a super sweet dog. She also has half of her adoption fee. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Wrong dog. Take that back. Um, this is Zoe. She is a very sweet girl. She's about four years old. Just kind of gentle. She's very easy on the leash, which is nice. She knows to sit on command. She loves her tummy rubs and back rubs, and she just really is into people. A beautiful dog. Zoe's ID number is 223052. This is sweet Zena. She is such a little doll. She's really scared. She got turned in. Her people were moving and couldn't find a place that would take dogs. So she's stuck down here and she's not too happy about it, but she's super sweet about it. Does very well with other dogs. She likes the lap. She's very good on the leash. She's house trained. She's crate trained. Um, I can't say enough nice things about this little dog. She's about four years old. She looks like she can fit into any situation. Yeah, she's, she's not going to size. She's not going to eat too much. She's not going to take up no. too much room. She's just going to want to go on a walk and sit on your lap and watch TV. She's a cuddler, you can tell. She is, and she's really pretty too. And I think she should go with that pink sweater. I think that could probably be arranged. Uh huh. ID number two two three two eight eight. This is Zena. Oh, this is Kenny. This is, I have to tell you, one of the favorites in the shelter. All the volunteers love this dog. He's just, you know, he's sweet. He's nine years old. He doesn't deserve to be down here. Um, he's super affectionate. He'll give you kisses all day long. Um, he knows sit. He knows shake. He, he's very house trained. He's just an all around super nice guy. But when you're nine years old, sometimes people think you're not going to be around too long and they overlook you and that isn't fair. Um, he is a great dog with a lot of life left and half of his adoption fee is paid. So that saves you more than $50 on adopting this dog. Kenny's ID number is 221518 and he's a very special dog. This is Pepper and um, she has half of her adoption fee. She is paid. She's a five-year-old Border Collie or, or Queensland Healer mix or something like that. She's a really great dog. You know, when she came in here, she was really hugely overweight. And while you might be looking at her now and think, oh, this girl's kind of tubby, she's lost a lot of weight since she's been in here. She's looking great. 
And she went out on an outing with some volunteers the other day. Uh, she was out all day. They took her to a number of different places. They said she was beautifully behaved. She doesn't really seem to love other dogs here in the shelter, but they said she was just fine around them when they had, them out, when they had her out of here. So this is a dog that's just unhappy being in a shelter situation and wants to get out into a home where she can be a good girl. And she likes riding in the car. Sometimes there are dogs that do not like riding in the car and people want to have a dog in the car. Well, she loves car rides. So that's a plus. Mm -hmm. And um, she just, she loves people. She loves to be petted. She, she just really affectionate, really focused on people and a, turning out to be just a really nice dog. So if you're interested in Pepper, knowing that you can adopt a sweet dog and get 50% off of your adoption fee, you wow. should come in and meet her. Her ID number is 222-502. This sweet, wonderful dog that we think is probably 9 or 10 years old was picked up in Paso Robles, uh, 12th and Vine, and on, um, what was the date on that? The 9th of February. And I'll tell you, I cannot believe nobody's in here looking for this sweet dog. He's just nice, he's well behaved, he's easy on the leash, he's affectionate. There's nothing wrong with this dog. I can't believe his people aren't looking for him. Well, Drives maybe they'll crazy. see him now. I and hope they do. Him. And he, yeah. you know, and if his people aren't gonna come, then we need some other people out there to come in and meet this dog and give him his retirement home. That sweet boy with that sweet face and that wonderful demeanor does not deserve to be stuck down here. He does, oh, look at Aww. that. Come on, people. Come and, on. And, and, he comes with a senior rebate. We really want to get our seniors out of here pronto, so we uh, offer $35 off your adoption fee if you adopt one of our seniors. So Joe comes with a wonderful personality, all the love he can give, and money off his adoption fee. And maybe they'll send him home in that cool vest, too. I, I mean, that alone right, right there, right that's, there. that's worth the price. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh it's, it's a, ah. fantastic. So, All right. you know, Hope take Couture. a number, folks. Get Ho Joe. Elderly dog, Hope Couture jacket. What more do you want? Come on down and check this guy out because I'm telling you, he's a sweet angel. ID number 223069. Come on, people. Come down here and get this guy. Well, this look, almost looks like she could be Sadie's sister. I think she's a couple years younger. She's only about three years old. Um, she is really pretty. She's very friendly. Um, she likes to run. You know, if you want a jogging partner, she'll run with you. But then she also can be very, very calm, still, quiet, and just, you know, really wants to be your pal sitting next to you. She loves to play fetch. So if you're not really into jogging, you can throw a tennis ball for her and she'll go get it and bring it back. She loves her belly rubs. Pretty good with other dogs, although apparently not a big fan of cats. So, you know, no cats, but uh, a really nice dog. Pearl's ID number is 223176. This is Nala. She is a brand new arrival to the uh, shelter. Her owners could no longer keep her, so we don't know a whole lot about her yet, but she seems nice and quite affectionate. And you can see, even though she's probably shooken up uh, about being, or shaken up about being left down here, she's letting Greer kind of push her around a little bit, and she looks perfectly okay with that. Aw, poor girl. She's got very interesting markings. They're patchy and like mm -hmm. brindle and gray and buff, and this dog's gonna get you noticed. She's really pretty. Mm -hmm. About six years old, her ID number is 939209. Oh. This, is, uh, this is Lucy, I'm sorry. This is Lucy. This is Lucy. This is Lucy. <laughs> this is definitely um, Lucy. She does not like small dogs or small animals, so she needs to go off to a home where either everybody else is another big dog. Well, there can be people in it too, but uh, she just likes bigger animals, and mostly she likes people. But she's got all kinds of, you know, she's crate trained. She likes car travel. She knows basic obedience. She loves frisbee. She likes to run. She goes on walks. She swims. I mean, this is a dog that um, has done a lot of things with a lot of with her people and for whatever reason they just decided they couldn't keep her anymore so we feel bad for her she loves to play ball and um, very house trained and pretty good on the leash lucy's id number is 207106 this is duffy um she's a uh, she's a female about three years old no she's a male well, he is a male what am i saying i don't know why I what are that. you saying i don't know have to, Duffy I'm is really a boy. Sorry. Duffy is a young male. He's about That's three right. years old. He's a beautiful dog. He's super responsive to people. 
Uh, he knows sit, he knows shake, he loves to play ball, he loves to fetch. He's a Red um, Merle Queensland, have you noticed? He's gorgeous. People he love is Red Merles. Absolutely gorgeous. He seems a little bit shy of men. He loves women. He seems a little bit shy with some men. I don't know if a man was mean to him. I don't know. But he, you know, once he gets to know them, he gets along with them. He likes the volunteers down here that he's gotten to know well. He's just a really nice dog. Um, his ID number is 222-859. This is Malo, and his owners could no longer keep him. Uh, they're moving and just turned he and another dog in with them, and he was so scared when he got here. He's doing a lot better. I just think he's so beautiful. I mean, this is totally my kind of dog right here. I love that big old honking salami head. I just love that look, and he's just a beautiful dog, and I feel so sorry for him because I know he's just scared to death down here. Um, he's probably about 60 pounds on little stubby legs, just just a little fire plug. I just adore him. Um, he's good on the leash. He's he's very house trained. Um, you know, I don't. I think he probably lived outside most of his life, and I feel I feel bad about that. So he deserves to move inside where it's warm where people love him, and I think as soon as he feels uh, safe somewhere, he is gonna make a wonderful dog. So again, everyone, this is Malo. ID number 958-179. Another pretty shepherd here. Uh, this is Ryder. Uh, we think this one's about five years old. Just really sweet, just a beautiful dog, um, super friendly. No, you know, comes when he's called, good on the leash, no sit, all around good dog. And I love it when they just barely start to get a little bit of that, that gray in their muzzle. It just makes them look sweeter and kinder. But again, we think he is only about five years old. So if you are interested in a beautiful shepherd like this, come on, look at him, look at Stan, like, hey, why don't you take me home? You got oh. any dogs? You need some dogs, mister. <laughs> um, Stan's saying, I've, I've already got plenty, thanks but a great looking dog. ID number 223264. This is Suki. Um, Suki doesn't like it here. She's, she's been kind of upset since she's been here. She's pretty depressed in her kennel. She's been barking at you when you walk by, but when you kind of break through her fear and let her know that you're her friend and that life is okay and people will treat her all right, then she's perfectly fine. Um, she seems to like other dogs. We haven't really uh, done too much testing with her yet because she was so scared when she came in. But she seems very interested in them when we're outside in a good way. So hopefully she's going to turn out to be a, a, a fan of other dogs. That always helps. She's, she's got a very interesting look, don't you think? She does. What do you think she is? I I mean, we know. have her down as Australian Kel Kelpie. Uh, Kelpie, but um, I'm thinking probably not. Probably not. I don't not. see Kelpie there. I'm uh -huh. not sure what I do see. She's but got it's a not. very distinctive look, though. I mean, I think this is a good dog's going to get you noticed. She's, mm -hmm. she's very pretty, whatever mm. she is. Half of her adoption fee is paid, so we want to get this girl out of here. And if you're interested in meeting her, please come on down. ID number on Suki is 962-680. Well, Deborah, you know we've got a lot of people out there who love beagles. Yes, we do. And we just got one. Um, mm -hmm. Owner turn in. I'm not sure why. Seems like a really nice dog. Uh, about, about six years old. Um, Greer says that Shiloh needs to eat salad for a while. So I think that means Shiloh's got a couple of extra pounds, but that's easy enough to take care of, especially since, you know, they can't get to the food like we can. So, you know, you can control that stuff. But seems like a very nice dog and not very happy to be here. Can't say I blame him. ID number 939083. Come on, Beagle fans. You know you're out there. He's showing his entire he is, he, body now. Yes, he wants you to see that he has a very fine fanny. Yes, yes. And he does. And he does need to take a few pounds off. And the front is even better. Yeah. So Gorgeous. that is a beautiful beagle. That's Shiloh. Look, people, a baby, a baby. He's just four months old. We think he's Jack Russell maybe and something else. Um, kind of calm for a Jack Russell. So I'm not exactly sure what all is in there, but he sure is cute. Uh, he was found in San Miguel, um, the thousand, I think, thousand block of 
L Street in San Miguel on the 21st of February. I can't believe nobody came looking for this puppy. He's just adorable. And he already is he's already leash trained. He does well with the other dogs. He loves to sit in your lap. He's just he's just kind of a perfect little puppy. So come meet this guy. We're going to name him Truman because he looks like a Truman. So <laughs> that's what you name him when they look like a Truman. I can see that in him. Can't he you really see looks it? like a Truman. I mean, he's yes. screaming Truman. Yes, yes, yes. ID number 223237. This is Darling Little Truman. Oh, this is a newcomer, T. This dog just came here today. Oh, um, oh, oh. Picked up in Atascadero, Highway 101 and Morrow Road. He's a beautiful, he just a maybe one-year-old dog. He must have a license or something because he's got a name. His name is Charlie. Mm -hmm. So someone out there should be looking for Charlie. This is a gorgeous dog. Um, if, you're, if his owners don't show up, of course, he's going to go up for adoption. Um, beautiful year-old husky. Uh, again, picked up in a Tascadero. So, folks, if you're out there looking for your beautiful lost husky type dog, we have him down here. His ID number is 218389. And for those husky fans that are wanting a husky, if his owners don't show up, he's going up for adoption. So, come on down and take a look at him. Again, showing us all sides. I think that's very yes, considerate yes, yes. of the dogs to sort of give you the full frontal and the full backle. He is just know. so handsome. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, wow, yes. Pretty dog. Handsome, young. He's got it all going on. 218-389. This is Charlie, and he's talking to you. Oh, my goodness, T. This this poor, sweet, beautiful dog we found in the night kennels. Um, she, we think she's about six. She looks like she's a little bit rough shape. Uh, she is as sweet as she can be. We've decided we're going to name her Lovey if nobody shows up, you know, to find her. Um, I just, you know, I'm never going to understand how, well, she's only been here a day. Maybe her owners will come show up and, and get her, but she's just a sweet, sweet doll. Uh, so again, found in, I think, where, wait, where was it? Night Kennel. Oh, yeah, Night Kennel's here. That's night? right. So yeah. who knows who put her in there? Hopefully it was just a good Samaritan who found her and left her in our night kennels, but it's also possible her owners can't keep her anymore. So folks, if you like boxers, if you like blue, beautiful blue-eyed dogs, if you like dogs that are super, super sweet and gentle, please come and meet Lovey. Her ID number is 223292. This is Duncan. He's a great looking dog. He's just about a year old. Um, his owners were moving and could no longer keep him. Uh, housing for animals is really tough to find sometimes and we that's why we get an awful lot of our owner turn-ins down here according to his owners he was good with he uh, liked car travel he has basic obedience he knows some tricks he likes to fetch and play frisbee he goes on walks he swims uh, he's been an inside dog uh, you know he's still kind of a puppy he's just a year old so you can see he's got that puppy puppy energy but he just seems like a super nice sweet dog whose name is Duncan, and um, he is ID number 223136, very sweet, very nice dog. Here's a sweet older boxer left in our um, night kennels with no information about her. The poor thing needs a, needs a retirement home. She's a sweet, gentle old dog that just needs a, a place to go live out the rest of her days or years, hopefully. She is a senior. We think she's nine, and so she has the senior rebate, which saves you $35 on her adoption. So if you are interested in a sweet senior boxer, please come meet her. Her ID number is 223291. Hey, this is Champ. This is the Champ's backside that you're looking at right now. This is a great dog, uh, one of the best dogs in the shelter, just all around nice guy, uh, good on the leash. He's learning his tricks. He's learning his some obedience. He's very good with other dogs. He's just an all around nice guy. Um, I really, really like this dog. I really like this dog. Half of his adoption fee is paid. So if you think this looks like your kind of guy, come on down here and meet him. He's an awfully, <laughs> <laughs> he's hacking something up. I don't know what that is, but it happens to all of us. So. And he doesn't miss a beat. <laughs> and he's just, just like, okay, goes I'm fine. on completely. I'm no fine. Problem. Everything's fine. Don't worry. No Nothing worries. to see here. ID number 222721. <laughs> this is Champ. 
Isn't this a beautiful little yellow lab mix? This was uh, this one dog was turned in with um, the beagle that you saw earlier. So for whatever reason, their owners could no longer keep them. And so this sweet dog and the beagle find themselves down here trying to figure out what's happened to their lives. So this little beauty's name is Mia. She's about four years old. She is just a lovely, sweet, fabulous little lab mix. And she's loving Stan. Mia's ID number is 966-545. She's going to go fast. She's cute. Well, now we've got some cats to show you, and we're starting out with a cat named Putitat. You remember calling, I thought I saw a Putitat? I think that's what this cat's name is. Anyway, he is a delight. He is a senior. He qualifies for the senior rebate. That is $35 off your adoption fee if you decide to adopt him. He is a wonderful boy. ID number 2228. Five two, tat. Next up, we've got Panda. How cute is he? You know you want him. He's adorable. He is a kitten. He's just three months old. He is available now. ID number two two three two nine five. That's Panda. And here we have Maureen looking out of her comfortable blanket situation here. She is just about a year old and she qualifies for our black cat rebate. That's right. If you fall in love with Maureen or any of our black cats here, you get $25 off your adoption fee. Her ID number is 223270 Maureen. Say hi to Jesse. As you can see, he also is a black cat, so he qualifies for the black cat rebate. $25 back to you if you adopt him. He is three years old and ID number 223224. Jesse. Seems we've got a lot of black or black and white cats today. This is Leroy. He is just about eight months old and he is ID number 223217. And we have bunnies. You're right, this is not a cat. Here's a black and white bunny. You can adopt any of our bunnies for $5. So come down and if you like bunnies, take one of our bunnies out of here, just $5. And they're adorable. So here's a black and white one. And a pure white bunny, still $5. We've got these and a few more bunnies and I think we have some guinea pigs. So. Cats, dogs, bunnies, guinea pigs, come on down. Best pet store in the county. And if you can't find anybody to adopt, maybe you want to volunteer with us. We surely can use some volunteers. 